Hey everyone, Christy Wimber here. Just taking a few minutes to talk about uh, the area of our soul and soul care. And this is an area, oh my gosh, I was so bad at this before. And, um, but I have realized that this is so invaluable. And uh, you know, the last few years, obviously with COVID on top of so many other things, I really honestly hid out quite a bit in the last uh, few years. Uh, and um, enjoy it. I think the more you hide out, the more you actually enjoy it. But um, what I've realized is the time that I have spent, it's been with you know leaders that are struggling and oh my gosh, just weary, worn out in all kinds of different ways. It is a very difficult uh, time uh, for leaders right now who have you know tried to figure out are we meeting, are we not meeting? Um, you know, having people really upset that we aren't meeting or we are meeting, and trying to juggle so many different things and what it's led to is a heaviness. And honestly, this isn't even about leadership. This is just about uh, being human. And the season that we've been in has been heavy and it's been hard. And if you have felt like this, you are not alone. And um, I think it's really important that we understand that we do go through seasons. And when there's season, God always gives like a provision for us uh, to encourage us in different ways. And one of the things that I've learned is that so many people, they just feel like they're drowning in so much. And how many know a drowning man is not the one to plan his own escape? Like you need someone bigger than yourself to pull you out of what you're in. And when I would say like, if you're just feeling this way, you're not alone. Uh, this is a really common response to what's going on. But one of my favorite scriptures, when I just feel like, oh my gosh, everything's so heavy right now, is found in Lamentations 3:28 uh, through 30, and it's in the message. Now, let me just read this to you. So, um, and honestly, if you're watching this right now, just close your eyes. Like, listen to this verse. It says, "When life is heavy and hard to take, go off by yourself. Enter the silence. Bow in prayer. Don't ask questions. Wait for hope to appear. Don't run from trouble. Take it with full force. The worst is never the worst." That's like a really encouraging passage, especially when life is heavy and hard. The first thing is go off by yourself. I mean, I know for some of you, especially like in lockdown or whatever, like going off by yourself, find a closet, find something where you can go off by yourself and you can enter the silence. How many know you actually have to be intentional um, to like have times of silence where you can just sit. And this is talking about just being because it says bow. It doesn't say, it says, don't ask questions. This is a picture of just entering in and just being. Like coming to the place, having everything shut out, having all of your phones turned off and media turned off and TVs and all that kind of stuff that distracts us. Enter into the silence, bow, which is a posture. It's like just kind of, you know, bowing before the Lord. It's learning. The Lord said to me years ago, especially in a season of, I was in a season of, busy, of busyness. And the Lord said to me, Christy, you have to learn to be present in my presence. And I was like, oh gosh, like I have to be in, we, God's with us all the time because he's in us, but we have to learn to be present in the presence of God. And I think this, this picture in Lamentations is a clear picture of that, that we bow, that posture. We wait, we wait for the Lord. How many no, we have to wait for the Lord before we work for the Lord. I mean, because we have to get filled up again. Like we leak, we leak all the time. And um, we need to, uh, more of God so that we can give. That's the model that Jesus left for us is that he would go and he would be with the Father and he would get filled up again. He would get directions again. And then it says, don't run away. And I love this because how many know, like like to have to be silent and you know, it's it's a, it's a posture, but it's also a patient posture. And sometimes we get uncomfortable with that, of just being. And it says, don't run away. But there's something in this that God is promising us. And he's saying, it's not about doing, it's just about being. And it's about getting what you need. Sometimes we're so used to doing and we're so used to, you know, you know, having everything fixed and everything together that we don't just know how to just be. And here's the promise here. The promise is if we don't run, and if we just be patient and turn to the silence, hope will come. When life is heavy and hard, what's God promised to us? Hope will come. I love this story about Queen Isabella from the 1500s. She was known uh, for, in fact, she would brag about it, how she never had baths. She only had a bath uh, twice in her life. 
uh, once when she was born and the other one when she got married to Ferdinand, she had her second bath and then they gave her another bath when she died. Well, I bet they did. Like she only had three baths her entire life. What, what a pleasure she must have been to be around. But this is like a picture of we need to like keep coming into the presence of the Lord. It's not just like a, a visitation. It's a, a dwelling. It's an inhabitation. It's like not a few times, you know, a year. We can't like just go to church once a week and expect uh, to get all that we need. This is a posture. If life is heavy and hard, go sit with the Lord. You know, bow your head. Enter into that silence. Wait for the Lord. Don't talk. Just be. And when life is heavy and hard, God's promise to you and I is that there's hope. And I've been there when I've felt like there's not a lot of hope in what's going on here and how I'm feeling. And I have held on to this scripture that when life is heavy and hard, and even when I feel like I am alone and I have to, you know, survive because there are moments like that. And so many of you are in this season right now. And I'm telling you, hope does not disappoint. Hope from God, Romans talks about, does not disappoint. So hang in there if this is you and you're like, oh my gosh, I just feel like life is so heavy. You're not alone, but you do need to uh, be intentional uh, to take that time and really be with the Lord. So wherever you gotta just take a few minutes and do this, it will change your life, I guarantee it. It will change your life and it will give you what you need for today.